Welcome to Plopsalanda Pan, it's the theme park near the coast in Belgium. Here's our top 10 tips of how to make sure you have a great day here at this theme park. Plopsalanda Pan is very well connected, it's in Japan, understandably. It has trains, it's got trams, it's got buses. If you're coming from far afield, it all connects very nicely out of Brussels. Plopsalanda Pan is an expensive park. Bring lots of money or expect to spend a fair chunk. Admission, merchandise and food is incredibly expensive at this theme park. You can save some money on entry by looking at places like Groupon, Tripper and Dag tickets to save a bit of cash. Heidi the Ride is a fantastic little GCI. Baby little coaster with six rows goes on an out and back thing. It's well worth doing if it's not closed due to the weather conditions, but make sure you visit it first or later on in the day to avoid most of the queues. It's one of the only parks in Europe open year round. In winter, it's open on Wednesdays, the weekends and uh, school holidays. However, do pay attention to the temperature. If it's too cold, under five degrees on your day of visit, you'll find attractions closed. Visiting other Plopsa parks or holiday park or other parks in Europe, it might be worth looking at a Plopsa annual pass. You might save yourself a little fortune. Bring in your own food or need to warm up a baby bottle. They do microwaves in all the picnic areas. Very useful. For something to do more than just the theme park, you can just hop on the tram literally right next to the park to go into Japan itself. There's foods there and there's the beach. It's only €2.50 each way at time of recording and it accepts contactless. Just tap it on inside the tram. Why not spend some time visiting Plops Aqua? It's the water park right next to Plopsalanda Pan's theme park. It's very small, it's got a few things, probably a good two hours worth of visit, but pop in and enjoy. Plopsaland is great for little ones. There's absolutely tons for the tiny ones to do, such as ball pits. There's two available. Don't forget to go visit the animals, um, but be aware that it doesn't look like there's anywhere to wash your hands, so bring some sanitizer. Oh yeah! And there's our top 10 tips for making the most of your visit to Plopsalanda Pan. Do you have any tips of your own that you'd like to share? If so, please do leave them in the comments so we can all make sure we have a great visit to our wonderful theme parks in Europe. Thanks for watching, please do like and subscribe and we'll see you again soon for another top 10 tips of one of our favourite theme parks.